Queen Athalia wanted wealth and power. And when she realized that on the only ones between her and her goal were children too young to resist, she ordered them all killed. And then for a few years, it seemed she had all that she wanted before suddenly losing it all just as quickly as she had gained it along with her life as well. It shows what Jesus meant when he warned us of the danger of placing our hearts on worldly treasure and success. It might seem to be in our grasp that it's only fleeting and we can't take it with us. It's a lesson that we are really challenged by as a culture. After all, we have become very materialistic. And we focus, we judge success based on wealth, on expensive clothes and cars and houses and fame and positions in the world. Rather than seeing success based on a love, generosity, wisdom, or character. We see that placing of the heart in the things of the world, very clearly in all the people that argue for abortion on the grounds that raising a child is expensive and time-consuming and so might interfere with the careers of the parents and their plans for worldly success. We also see it in the willingness of our culture to applaud people who become wealthy and powerful by sacrificing everything else. People who crush others on their way to the top and use any means, even underhanded or violent ones, to get ahead. We see it in the way that our culture sees so many, the poor, the unborn immigrants and the elderly, for instance, as burdens holding others back from success rather than as people with dignity who deserve to be respected. Let us pray to be set free from that way of thinking. Let us ask for the grace to see our genuine treasure and success in life, not in the size of our bank account, not in the things that we own, not in the titles we achieve, but rather in the lives that we touch with love, that the relationship that we develop with God the decisions we can look back on throughout our lives and be proud of because we see that through them we have made this world a little bit brighter, a little bit warmer, a little bit better. Let's also pray for our culture that may stop looking at the most vulnerable as burdens to be eliminated and start seeing them as people with a dignity that must be respected. And let's make sure that we are applauding people who do things right, and not people who have accumulated a lot. It's through that that will help our, cur- our culture to glorify those who love people deeply and who can serve as good examples of having their heart set on the treasures of heaven. Because it's only by our desire and our prayer that we'll be able to transform ourselves and our society to be one searching for love and not applauding those who use people to gain things for themselves.